so we are going to discuss about uh, the topic analytical privileges today it's a very it's a very, very important topic okay yeah so i tried assigning the package privilege to user uh, test user test and i was able to do it simple so let me see show you the privileges that you that you have, you can assign to the user basically i always remember uh, upon exceptional basis only you are going to add any of these uh, uh, any of these uh, mm, package access okay you, ideally you shouldn't uh, give any access except for uh, these three privileges okay you should always remember that you will only give access to these privileges instead sorry these privileges instead okay so imported packages cannot be changed directly in the quality system or the production system so the packages has to be changed in development and has to be moved to quality or prod other things okay so application privileges as i already said you will only have these application privileges if there are any third party applications built on hana database uh, that is on access engine so once the developer creates any uh, privileges as such he is going to intimate you that uh, these privileges are created and you can use them accordingly to restrict the access of this uh, of that third party application okay so that is uh, now uh, application privileges we cannot show okay because uh, uh, application privileges has to be given by the developer himself okay whoever is creating the third party application has to give you these privileges until and unless he does it we will not be able to assign any application privileges it's a, it's a very easy concept okay you, there is nothing that you need to do in application privileges and also package privileges is very easy and object privileges we already discussed you can assign whatever schemas that you want so always remember uh, along with repository rest or uh, uh, okay this is the standard schema that has to be given in order to enable the user to have access to the content folder otherwise you will not be able to access any of the packages okay always remember we need to give that uh, object privileges here along with that object privilege you, you should also assign the packages that uh, that uh, you or she can access okay so that is the thing and also when it comes to we are going to discuss about the analytical privilege how about to create the analytical privilege and all that so before that let us create an attribute view under any any package so this is the system user id that have okay this is the test user id that we have created what happened user uh, is required to change uh, sorry password why he was asked to change his password i did not maintain such thing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay let it be okay let us see with the, let us proceed with the package uh, let us create an attribute view under package i'll create a new package under content i'll have the package name as uh let us have anything that we that we want. Okay. Uh, let us have uh, uh, testing test package. And always remember, you cannot give any spaces in the name. Okay. It it should always be like this only. So it will take automatically test package and the delivery unit will be empty. Mm. English will be the standard language and person responsible is your system. So it is being created by system user ID because I am responsible for this. Creating this package. Okay. Test package has been created. Uh, initially it will be empty. Okay. You can create something under test package. You can let us create an attribute. Let us give some name here. Uh, let us give shower. So always remember, uh, so this attribute views will always be starting with the naming convention AV. Okay. It is a standard. Okay, guys. Shift underscore. AV underscore let us name it as Shravan. AV underscore Shravan. AV is what nothing is the meaning of attribute. AV? Attribute view. It's a shortcut. Attribute view. Okay. Okay. Type view, you can always change. Okay. I selected while right clicking on the package, I selected uh, attribute view, but you can always change it to analytic view or a calculation view. Okay. Doesn't matter. You can always change it. Fine. Okay. So that is the thing. 
let us finish this. Okay. So, okay, once this is created, uh, as someone mentioned earlier, we can insert the tables in this particular data foundation. Okay. Uh, let's see what tables we have under. Uh, okay, we have we created any tables so far? Uh, Are there any tables created under sys underscore sys, 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 sys. What does uh, sys underscore BSE have? It will have all the table content, yes. No? Okay. I'm just uh, checking, okay, if we can use any any of the existing tables, okay, instead of going for the instead of going for the table creation now, because table creation we we are not going to do it as security admin. This and all I'm creating so that I can tell you, uh, like I can explain you the concept of analytical analytical privilege, because that will be our final privilege that we are going to discuss once we complete our analytical privilege. In the next from next session onwards, we can start with role admin. If at all we complete this at, uh, at at the earliest, we can also start the role admin concept. But uh, I would prefer to have a, a new session where we can complete the role admin concept. So once the role admin is con concept is over, we can focus on auditing and trace, which will be our final final chapter, and it will take some time. Okay, let me show you. Uh, let me add this table. Okay, let me see what tables we have. Art schemas we have. Okay, this is created by us. Okay, temp is also created by us. Mm -hmm. Someone has created this VCC. Let's see if there are any tables here. Okay, that's fine. Acha, VCC is also created by us. Okay, that's why it's not able. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we we'll get any sample data on here. These are all some standard uh, uh, tables. Okay, we we cannot use them. But okay, uh, let's select some random table. See what happens. I am selecting some random HANADB table. Okay, let's see what. Happens. Okay, it has all these uh, columns in it, okay, which is mandatory SRC GUID and SR source type ID, source GU, GUID, and uh, that's source type ID. Okay, so what we can do basically is that so this table we have added, okay, under data foundation. Now I can select any columns that I want, selecting SRC GUID, all the all three columns, okay. Once I select these columns. I can go to semantics and I can see on what sorry. Ah, I can see uh, uh, what columns I would need. Okay, what columns I would need for this analytical privilege to be applied. So I selected three columns, all three columns by going into semantics. In data foundation, it will allow you to add multiple tables. Okay, you can add multiple tables and you can create joins of these tables. Okay, by using this and that is done by modeler or developer. But since we are not going into that depth, that much depth, I am going to show you this way. Okay, we have uh, SRC GUID, SRC type ID, and mandate. I am going to select all the three columns. Okay, and after selecting three columns, go to view properties. Okay, dimension. Data category is always dimension and type is always standard. Okay, this is you will not get anything to change here. And here you can. Select uh, SQL analytical privilege or classical analytical privilege. There is a difference between both analytical privileges, okay? Which I'm going to explain you in detail. What, what is the difference between a classical analytical privilege and an SQL analytical privilege? It's a very important concept. So I'll be, give you a basic idea about uh, these two things now. So classic analytical privilege is an XML privilege, okay? 
where you cannot create complex queries for on this analytical privilege whereas sql analytical privilege will allow you to create complex privileges okay we are going to discuss it in the further topics so okay? don't get confused for now i am going to create an xml privilege which is pretty straightforward and easy okay if you see you can enable the history if you want enable history is nothing but to see who is going to uh, uh, assign uh, like who who is going to change this particular uh, properties and all that if you want to see that history you can enable this i am not enabling it and you can select deprecate in order to get this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, privilege as deprecated you can uh, you can have this deprecate deprecated is nothing but deactivated okay i think i am not going to deactivate this and cache and uh, general uh, generate concat our attributes are not related to us okay these are bit advanced and this doesn't come under okay. so once i select this classic analytical privilege here okay what i can do there is no hierarchy okay hierarchy is not required right? in view properties i have checked everything okay and everything looks fine it will be created as this privilege will be created as av underscore shop one okay and we will be able to see the privilege under the tables also okay don't worry we will be able to see it let me first let us so whatever data we create first we have to save and validate so it will show you okay it's validated as you save and validate you have to save and activate okay. the activation is done successfully okay if the uh, how can you see if the activation is done is successfully or not so where have you created this uh, uh, package we go under your package okay you have now you have to see this. so there is our package test yeah, this is our test package and we have created av underscore common as an attribute here. just refresh your content folder and uh, expand this uh, not this this is the attribute that we have now we have created attribute view called av underscore crown okay at the same time so we have created an attribute view okay okay if you want to see uh, like how our data is going to look you can always select this option in data preview okay you have three columns right basically what you can do you can uh, drag and drop uh, this data here sadly there must be no data in the table so that is why we are not able to see otherwise if there is any data you will find uh, uh, charts here like this one vertical bar charts you will be able to see or horizontal bar charts or pie charts for that instance but now unfortunately there is no table data in the table which we have selected okay so that is why we are not able to see anything here friends so let us remove that uh, table that we have added because there is no data like so there is no use of uh, taking it as an example let us remove it shaban <clears throat> yeah who's designing table structure here in s4 hana sorry come again who's designing table structure Who's designing tables? But, What I didn't understand. Who's design? I mean, um, who's designing? Who's going to the, design tables in uh, S4 Ana? You mean to say? Yes. Ah, uh, the modeler. The modeler, not uh, the basis security. No, basis and security team will not do it. We are just uh -huh. giving access. That's it. Basis will will be responsible for setup. And uh, yesterday you have seen some issue, right? In between, we we encountered some issue. Like we mm -hmm. were not able to add any package. So such issues are handled by basis team, or so any anything related to the software or installation is handled by basis team. So we are only going to security admin will only focus on giving access. The reason why I am trying to add this table is that uh, I, actually we also can create a. Uh, 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 temporary table nlb uh, which i'll do it now because uh, i don't think so uh, we have any data in the standard tables as of now because this is a training system mm -hmm. i'm going to remove this and we can create a new table mm -hmm. yeah. i thought the the modeler and developer is giving the structure to the 
base system and then they will create the no, tables. No, 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 no. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. No, we are not going to do. It. Okay, okay. Base system is not going to do. It. No, we we don't know like what uh, table data they might need and all that. So that has to be coming from uh, them only. We are not going to create it. Ah, uh, okay. See, someone has created some MDG views. Okay, let's see what what attribute views they have created under TMP. Ah, great. We have data here. See what table they have fetched it from. Great. See, they have created some table data here. We don't know. So whatever data you are able to see is is called master data basically. So now they have uh, such data here. Let's see what data we can see. Here. Open data preview editor. They will have some data. If we drag and drop something, what's happening? Yeah, see, now we are able to see the data. Now you can restrict like what data you can see and what data you cannot see and all that using this. Uh, what do you say? Uh, Column-based uh, analytical privileges. We can restrict what data user can see. Suppose in in this entire table, user should only be able to see only data related to. Uh, let us say you have three company codes in your company in LB. Like you have sorry three locations. Okay, like one uh, like one of your uh, branch is located in China. One of your branch is branch is located in Japan, and one of your branch is located in some other Asian country. Okay, Jap um, some other Asian country, Indonesia or something like that. You have three branches located in three different locations. Let us say you only need to see data in China location. So at at times, what you can do. So you will have this China location in your table. Okay, location will be as China or Indonesia or some other country. Okay, so while designing this analytical privilege, what you will do, you will make sure that the user will be able to see only that particular table data for China or for Indonesia or for Japan. Okay, that's how you do it. So that's how we are going to create an analytical privilege. Ah, okay, okay, great. You got my point? Yes. Yes. So okay, let me show you. Okay, let us uh, utilize this table, but I think this table is too big uh, for us. So let's see if there is any other table that we can use which has less data in it, so that it will be easy for us to understand. Because this is going this is going to be more complex for you to understand. Because this is not uh, this is not with us. This requirement is also given by this requirement is is also given by uh, the modeling team only. So what uh, restriction they want to be applied? On this particular table, so that restriction will be uh, given to you from the modeler only. Okay, while designing, the modeler will tell you. Some this modeler will be there, no, in your organization who is uh, who is working on this HANA DB, on database HANA database. He will tell you, like on what fields he wants this restriction. Let us say he want to want you to show only some data in a particular cost center or for a particular company code or for a particular cost center category. He will ask you to show only that data only. Okay. No, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the time. They're all columns. Okay. There's no data again in this table. That's why we're not able to see. There is not a table. Center, there is no table data, but account and we have table data, I think so. No, okay. we have data in this. Let's utilize it. But what kind of data we have? Okay. You can always check it in the table. Mm -hmm. You can always check it as a grid or a HTML or table, something like that. In account PNTIM, I think it is waste. There is no data in this thing. So let us remove this. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the info key? Info key also doesn't have any data. So instead, let us have it here. This has some data in it. Okay. Display. Mm 
كده I've created a sample table here instead. Okay, let's let me see what table he's accessing. He's accessing this table basically. One MD. MD057. It's an SAP HANA DB schema. Okay, it is showing the, you the information, see where this table is for. How did the table got here? SAP, it is an SAP HANA DB schema. So if you can see for SAP HANA DB schema, you'll find it. Here it is. Here it is. SAP HANA DB schema. Go to tables and you'll be able to find that uh, one MD md underscore zero percent let's use it luckily these are all standard table data only but we are able to we'll, we'll, uh, let us see if we'll be able to see the content what content is there in master data table hmm. one md what is it one md zero five seven These are all standard table. Uh, these are all standard table data. Mm. For all schema? Mm, under uh, uh, SAP HANA DP schema. Ah, uh, okay. This is the one I think. One MD. Sorry, it's one MD, MD057. Is it? Did we miss it? <laughs> Do we have filter in the table? Yeah, we can do a filter as well, but I want to see something. Okay, I want to see if, if there is any other table that we can use instead of this, because it has ah, the, vast data the, in this it. This one, uh, 57. Oh, no, that is not uh, 1MD57. Let me see. Did you see it somewhere? Okay, object limit I, has. I, I saw it. Okay, this is the issue why you were not able to see it. Let us see if there is any other table that we can use. Okay. Let's open the content of it. Could not execute uh, insufficient privilege. Are how it's from which ID I'm seeing it? Okay, I was trying to see it from which ID. What privilege is there? Not there. <laughs> okay. We don't have HANADB schema privilege, basically. Okay, that's fine. You can add uh, that schema privilege. How do you do it? You go to objects. Let me go to system user ID. Now let us close all the sessions. Okay, system user ID uh, should have system. Okay, he doesn't have SAP HANA DP. Okay, that's fine. I think he should have it by default. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to assign it now. No worries. SAP HANA DB is also a very important privilege. So, no worries, assign it. Actually, this topic should be completed yesterday only. Now we are discussing it because of that issue.
Okay, so this is the schema. Okay, I said Pihana DB is our schema. Let me assign it. Okay, let, I'll only give a privilege called select. So that I'll not be able to do any other. Uh, I can give all, but I'm only giving select or also I'll give it. SAP HANA DB is a privilege, object privilege. SAP HANA DB is a schema actually. So I'm assigning the schema as a privilege in object privileges. Um... SAP HANA DB is a schema. In that schema, you'll have all these objects. Okay. <clears throat> So all the schema we can include in the objects privilege. Uh, and also there is a security uh, issue here because I cannot assign my uh, access to my own user ID. So it is throwing this error. You can see mm -hmm. several issues have occurred. And you cannot modify your own access rights. Uh, that's fine. So, uh, so yeah, so that is accepted. So of course, so we'll try to log in as hello. It's hello, and uh, password should be should be the password for sure. Let me try this. Well, let's do one thing. Uh, let's reset the password. Follow zero nine eight seven. Again, follow zero nine eight and seven. Okay. Uh, again, post five is a much more market. Let's execute. And that's it. Okay, now I'm able to add. Uh, let me see if I'll be able to add the privilege or not. As user hello, user hello is assigned with the uh, user admin privilege yesterday. Okay, I should be able to assign the package privilege to this user. Let's see if I'm able to do it or not. Persistent user ID. Mostly I'll be able to do it. Okay, as far as, as far as I know. Let me see. Oh, sorry, I selected the right system a little bit. Okay, I'm not able to see anything. Now let us start. Mm -hmm. so. Give me the access on that. Someone has removed my privileges, I think. Let me see. As a system user ID, I'll see what privileges this user has. Let me see. Might be hello has been removed with all the privileges. Hey, he has it, no? User admin is given. Uh, not be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, object privileges are given. Let me give him access to this SAP HANA DB privilege so that he can reassign it to us. Usually, we don't give access to it.
sorry, 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 sorry. I was asking you to miss one, sorry. And now everything. There is no issue. But why am I able to swap the statements? Did I do something wrong or what? Let me have this caps lock on. I think it is expecting to have the right. It's not SAP HANA DB, no, sorry. It's system, no? System DB, if I'm not wrong. No, it's not working. What is the problem? What is the backwards? Oh, it's a separate DB only. I not Has some serious issues. Okay. Okay, got it. Let me select privilege and give access to. Okay, again, I logged in with this user or what? Oh, no. Hello, user ID only. Yes. Okay. I'll go access to execute and select, and I'll make yes, you'll be able to grant. Select and yes. yes. He's granted with it. Sorry, what happened? So I have logged in with user hello, so it will not allow me to accept this. It will allow me to access Hana DB. Okay. Not on place to perform required actions. Okay, yeah, fine. That's fine. Okay. 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 Let me see what is missing. Just again. CP HANA DB is a very standard privilege. Okay, it should allow me to add. Or else if it is already there also. But no, we don't have that object. This underscore repo is there. This underscore. Okay, let's add two more privileges, okay, which are very important for analytical privilege creation, okay, which is BSC. Uh, hmm. 
six underscore BAC and also okay, so I'll just okay. give access to secure. Okay, I send uh, sys underscore BIC and also I'll assign sys underscore BI, which is also a very important uh, privilege that we need to assign. I'll show you. I have that in the PPT. I'll show you that. Sys underscore BI is another privilege. Okay, I need to enter the few moments. Same privileges I'll give. Support. Cute and um, select. Great. Okay. So that is what I've given you. Mm. Okay. This is done. Okay. What I can do now? Why am I not able to assign HANA DZ? I was able to assign it yesterday or table for yesterday, okay, as part of my this thing, but now it is not allowing me to add it. Default it is given some more so Let's see. Well, let me only give select to it. That's what. Oh, oh yeah. It's a nice support. It. Can I not assign this access to my screen room user ID? And also, it is not allowing me to assign this access to some other user ID also. I'll look into this, okay? Let's see. Because uh, system user ID has every, every access that you need. Okay, that's fine. So, let us create a table by ourselves. It should be set to okay. On the hello schema, let me create a table. And then I'm going to do something. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, let us go the column names. What we can do, how many columns we can go. We can go S number and then column. Okay. Character type will be where cap. Okay, that's fine. Let us add one more column. Let us add column as uh, name. Okay. Let us add one more column, name, and uh, what we'll call uh, gender. Okay, so we have added it. We can uh, create it as a column for table only by default. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay, we have created this table successfully. Okay, which you can access under table. Okay, okay. package is created. Now, what I'll do, 
the guy got open the content and see you but now you will not be able to see any content here in s number name and gender because you have not inserted anything in this and you will not be able to see any index because we have not added any index here okay but we'll see what we can do here i thought of skipping this step now be so i was uh, searching all the tables but okay that's fine later we can have our own data view Okay, okay. We do some index also. Okay, let us see. You can insert uh, whatever uh, uh, values that you want. Okay, basically. Just a second. Okay. Uh, okay. Hello. Okay. Insert into hello. Practice. Okay. What values you want to insert? You can you can insert here. Actually, you instead of doing it. Okay. Let us try to do it. Three values we have now. Let us insert something. S I D we will insert as one. Yeah? Name we have now in the second one. Let us insert something. Mm. Let us give you a name. Okay. Let's click on this. What happened? I'll be it failed. Okay, could not execute. I think we only have uh, the feed length of name is only one. Hmm? I think the field name of name is one. Field name of name is one. Yes. Field length. Oh, sorry. Field, field length of name for table practice. And let me see. Same, same. It's a okay. Let me open the package. So what we have done here? Oh. Okay, column store data type is taken as a string, but the uh, dimension is given as one. Okay. Let's see. Let me see. Okay, it's not insert any risk. I thought we have given Bearcat, so I think I thought it will allow us to do it, but uh, okay, it's not allowing us to do it. Mm 
Here's Raban. I think we have problem here in the name. Name? Yes. Oh. The length is one only. Name is one this only. One. one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This but one. That's why we have error earlier. Only one character is allowed okay. to insert in name. Okay, let us do some parameters. Okay. okay. Okay, let's see now what happens. Sorry, what I try to do is okay. Here we are. So, I want to run on the system here. That's why it is going to be. Okay, we are able to add it. Okay. And then you can add uh, some other statements also. Okay, and then you can change this. Okay, so lovely will be one more query. Uh, 
Okay. 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 Let's, 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 let's. One watch for the many plans. You can see that already back in the day. So you haven't run it yet, uh, Shraban. Sorry? I, I run it already. But the sequence number is duplicate. Ah, this is not duplicate. It is index. Okay. It is, ah, uh, is generated index. by default. Yeah, this is the index which is generated by default. You cannot mm. uh, stop this. This is the it's primary key. Uh, usually it's a primary key. There is no need to have this S number. That's why, but we have added S number. So let it be. Okay. 